So in last week's video, we looked at worship and how we can worship God and how we're called to do that because we love him and he loves us. In today's video, we're going to be exploring one way in which we can worship God and thank him for all the things that he's done for us. Hopefully, your parents would have given you an activity sheet that I sent to them via email. That activity sheet is so you can draw and write down your thoughts, questions or prayers that come to your mind when you're watching this video. I especially like the doodle page or the doodle part of the page. I love to doodle and it helps me concentrate. So start doodling, start drawing. Now, we can worship God any way we want. It can be singing songs, It can be dancing. It could be going for a walk in creation. We can also worship by helping and loving those around us. Friends, families. Sometimes it's hard to come and worship God because we have a lot of distractions going on around us, or we just don't feel like doing it. And that's okay, because God wants us to try our best. But when we come to his presence, this is the most important thing. When we come into his presence, we forget everything and we just focus on him. Because you know what? He is awesome. So, so awesome that we forget about the negative stuff. One of the ways we can worship is by listening to some of our favourite songs and saying things that we are thankful for. Or if you'd rather not say them out loud or in your head, you can write them down. And listening to a song and worship, it helps us concentrate on God because the, the words that we listen to, they're all saying thank you to God and t- saying how awesome he is. So it makes us focus on who he is and how awesome he is. What we're doing in this moment is acknowledging God is there with us and saying thank you for all the things that he's done for us. This is a simple act of worship. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 6, Jesus is teaching about prayer. And we've looked at this little this verse before. But what he says is very relevant to worship. Because he's teaching about prayer and how when we do it, God sees us and hears us. The exact same within worship. God sees and hears us. It doesn't have to be big and flashy. All we need to do is come and thank God for being awesome. So this week, lie down with pen and paper. Listen to a song from the playlist that I created for you last week. And start thanking God for all that he has done for you. If you wish, you can start to sing along with the words if it's one of your favourite songs. Or you just sit there, listening, and thank God for everything he's done for you. Have a wonderful week, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.